morning it's cards in the car with lisa marie i am obviously in the car something i do every week I, you guys did you miss me last week i didn't get to you last week i'm so sorry Alyssa's appointments were just all kind of all over the place it just wasn't time and look the sun is like right on my forehead isn't that lovely sorry <laughs> but anyway so Alyssa, my 17 year old or our 17 year old um, has a traumatic brain injury and autism and a bunch of medical issues so hey susan she has about six hours of therapy every week so I'm kind of hanging in the car a lot and today she's actually she started this about two weeks ago and then she got sick so we had a little break but she is volunteering at an autism school actually the autism school she graduated from a few years ago which is really pretty cool so they've got her doing some like classroom helping and things like that um, and trying to hopefully start working on maybe some office work and things and trying to give her some independency and um, teach her some skills that can be you know to help her be a productive productive person in our world so I think it's awesome so I'm just kind of hanging out because of course it's like 30 minutes from my house so you know I'm in the car so I went and found a spot actually I found it's a branch of our church um, down the road from us you know about 30 minutes and they had really good connections because <laughs> I'm not stealing Wi-Fi my, my cell service was just really really good um, but over where Alyssa's at um, it just was really bad so I was like well I gotta move so that you guys can actually see me and it's not breaking up but we're gonna use a brand new set called Harvest Hellos and this one is going to be in the new holiday catalog, which if you haven't gotten yours, let me know. Send me a message and I will make sure you get one. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator and you want one, let me know. But I think, um, Sue, you should have gotten yours because Ginger picked them up. But this one is really cute because you can make the um, the cute little apple. See, there's, and there's an apple slice up there and there's a punch that fits this, but you can also turn it into a pumpkin or a jack-o'-lantern, however you want to do it. It's really, really sweet. Um, oops, sorry. Before I forget, there it is. Is. If you don't see the red live button up in the corner, it just means you're watching the replay, so it's recorded. No big deal. Just you know, leave me a little message that says hashtag replay, so I know you were here. If you're here now, say hello. I love that, so that we can say hi. I'm so glad you got your catalog. I hope you're enjoying it. There's lots of really good stuff in it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make a cute little card this morning. Um, there was a little discussion in my household that they weren't loving my card. So we're going to try it with a different paper this morning and then I'll show you both. I don't want to show you and like skew your thoughts, but my friend liked the card, but then my husband, you know, Chuck, has got an opinion. And then, and then Rebecca, they were like, eh. And Rebecca at least admitted it's because she doesn't love this designer series paper, this one pattern. And um, I do. I think it's really cute. It just has to be in the right place. But we're going to give this a try. We're going to make a cute little card. And I will flip the camera down so I won't be able to see your comments because I don't have another device in the car. But um, if you will just go ahead and chat with me, I'll catch up with you when I'm all done. I'll bring it back up and we'll get started. All right. Oh, who else is there? It says somebody else is there, but I don't know who it is. They haven't said hello. So we're going to swing you down, hopefully. The last time I did cards in the car, Alyssa did it with me and the thing fell off the window. Cause you know, this little gadget, it hangs on my window. It's this whole process to make this work. So. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab some pretty peacock ink and I've already put my pumpkin stamp on my block. And I, what's it called? I think this designer series paper is called Come Together maybe? But it's, this. I only brought a couple pieces of it. So you know, there's two sides, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stamp this guy right onto the designer series paper with pretty peacock which i think is really pretty because you know first of all teal pumpkins at halloween are for like autism and food allergies and things like that so when your kiddos are out trick-or-treating when you see those teal pumpkins it's supposed to let you know that they have some safe treats um there for your child um so i, I like the teal and so we're going to clean this guy off really quick i forgot my simply chamois but i always have baby wipes in my car so we're just going to grab that and we're going to grab our little punch it has some paper stuck in it, I see. All right, we're gonna close this ink pad before I stick my arm in it. All right, we're going to punch this guy out. Like I said, you can make an apple or a pumpkin. Obviously, we're doing the pumpkin. We're, I'm punching both these out so, we're gonna, so I can decide so that if I don't like this paper, then we'll switch it out. And then it also punches out the little leaf. Well, I'll flip it over so you can see, but the little leaf and the stem too. Those were little extra pieces that just went flying somewhere all over my car and I'm good with that. So, oh, it actually might look pretty on that one too. All these choices. Designer series paper sometimes makes it so hard because there's so many options. And it's like, which one do I want to do? I have a um, very vanilla stitched shape. Um, I use the stitch shape die to cut that out so it gives that nice little shape. And we're going to grab 
some pear pizzazz and we're gonna give some um yeah we're gonna go ahead and do some little curly cues i grabbed the wrong one let me grab the right one the little curly cues coming off of the vine you know from the pumpkin and i'm just using this guy so that i kind of have an idea about where things are gonna be there we go oops and that's okay that won't hurt a thing we're just gonna have another one peek out over there then it'll kind of sit and my stem and my leaf will cover things up so it's all good we don't have to be perfect when we're stamping it's okay so we've got that we've got that let me grab my scrappy piece oh it's right here so i brought a little scrappy piece of cajun craze and i'm going to punch out a stem there we go oops yeah i think we want to go this way yeah pumpkin has the fat like that and then we're going to I think it's cute like that so we can do them like that but then he's kind of cute like that too hmm we're gonna set him aside and we'll think about which way we should do that maybe I'll have to we'll take a vote which should we use the plaid plaid pumpkin or should we use the polka dot pumpkin so I want you guys to think about that while I'm over here stamping some leaves Oops, don't, don't stamp. did I pull it out there he is so I'm going to take some leaves, or a leaf here, and we're going to stamp him with Cajun Craze, and I'll show you a little trick. I could totally do these on, and I might even do it, and just to see which one we like better. So let's move this guy. Let's see which one. We might like this one better, because that's pretty too. But you can take your blender pen, which is a glycerin pen, and you can because this is still wet, you can just drag that color out and fill it in. Let's see how it works over here. It doesn't do so much for this guy. Just darkened him up a little bit and that actually might dry. There we go. I'm kind of liking these dudes though. I think we're gonna do them instead. I might just figure it out. I'm just gonna clean him off. So that's how you clean the blender pen. You just brush it off till it comes off clear. And then I'm gonna grab my scissors yeah I know I'm fussy cutting it it's not that tragic though because it's pretty small it's not like it's you know a really intricate little leaf it's got some pretty straight lines you can follow and just cut these little guys out I really should have cut some ahead of time so you didn't have to watch me cut so I apologize for that but you know um, so far I didn't forget anything so that's always a good thing because <laughs> I am notorious for leaving things one day I left without any stamps had the whole project and no stamps. So we're gonna cut out one of each, I think, and see which one we like. So yeah, I had to go back home. Another time I forgot my blocks, had no blocks. So I used, what did I use? I think I used the back of a stamp pad. I just had to make it work because I was like, I am not going back home if I can make this work. I had to go back home for the stamps because well, we couldn't stamp the card without it. But if, we, um, oops, that just went flying. Chuck's always like, what is all this junk in your car? <laughs> I'm like, I do cards in the car. And so there's like little bits of paper and dimensionals and Alyssa and I are gonna go and get it vacuumed out, I think tomorrow. She's got, so she's got work today and then we've got therapy. So we do this cool brain therapy where they use an integrated listening system. So they use music to help to try to reorganize her brain a little bit. And it really has been helping. It's been an amazing thing that we found. And so she goes to that twice a week. And it's an occupational therapist that does it. So she gets a little bit of OT and they use music while they're doing it. And like I said, it's really, it really has helped. So, all right. So I've got all these, and I really do like these darker leaves better, but I might use one small one. I'm not sure yet. Let me clean some of my mess up here so that we can and I have to clean as I go a little bit because otherwise I lose things in my car and that's just not good. So I did my stem. We didn't lose him, did we? Oh, there he is. And then we're going to grab, we need to probably, you need to tell me, did anybody vote? Do we want a plaid pumpkin or do we want the polka dot pumpkin? I'm gonna see if I can see it. Hello. Hey Sarah, nobody said anything. You guys, you gotta tell me, do you think we should do the, um, the plaid pumpkin? Oh, we gotta go this way or the polka dotted one. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to decide. And since I already did one in the plaid, I guess I'll just do the, this one and see how it goes. We're gonna grab some glue dots. And I am using my glue dots from my paper pumpkin because I had a whole bunch of them. 
So I'm just gonna pull these little dudes off. Oops, they already pulled off for me. And stick him right there on the bottom of that stem and then he will attach to my pumpkin. Cute, 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 cute. We need some dimensionals. I'm gonna put some dimensions on the back of him. Oops, I keep those little um, sequins keep sticking. So since I'm already here, I'm gonna go ahead and use a dimensional to hold that stem on, just a little extra, so that it doesn't pull off. Cause you know, it's just a tiny little piece. And oh, look at I have this in my hand. Did you know you can do that? Just use your little paper piercer or your take your pick tool and pull those off. It helps a lot. So we're gonna stick this guy right here and I kind of like him all set like that. And then we have some cute little leaves. We're gonna cut some more of that off because I didn't like that. So we're gonna take some cute little leaves and I think, oh, that's gonna be cute. And then I also, I took our sprig punch and I punched out some pretty peacock. I'm gonna get rid of some of that. It's a little long. Pretty peacock to stick in here. And I also have some copper because, well, it's fall and it just seemed like, you know, that's what it needed to be. And I think we're gonna use copper. So this is our copper foil paper, which I love. It's just got such a nice little shine to it. We're gonna build these guys over here because they're gonna make me crazy because they keep bopping around. I just wanted to see about where I'm gonna put them. So I'm gonna grab my little glue dot and stick him on there. Oops. And I'm gonna grab another one for you. And then these guys are just gonna get slid right underneath my pumpkin. That's why I only put those three dimensionals on the back. Um, because then I knew I had room, I might even go this way, yeah, I had room to slide this guy in here. You know, if I was doing this at home, like by myself, everybody just goes together perfectly, but y'all are watching, so it's always going to give me trouble. Okay, I'm going to have to pick it up because I can't get it. There we go. That's what I was trying to do right there just wanted to add that little bit of foil in there because it gives that little sparkle. There we go. All right. And then this guy, because my friend Valerie always tells me I should build it before I stick it in there, which is always my problem. I get excited and just start putting things together. And if I would just build it first, I think it would work out better. I think we're going to do this guy like that. And then we're going to take this guy over here. And so, does anybody have a favorite in the holiday catalog? Something that like you just love? I'd love I'd love hearing what you guys like because then I can plan, you know, like to show it to you in classes or oh, I kind of like it that way. I think I'm gonna have to cut that little guy off because I don't like him. That little stem. I don't need him. Because we're gonna tuck him just so it'll look like it's just coming off. There, that's better. Alright. And then we're gonna stick those guys. Oh, cute! Very, very cute. I'm very happy. So we're gonna use dimensionals, little baby ones for this guy. And again, I'm using those to hold my stuff on there. Pull these guys off. I might, oh, you fell off. That's what happened. Get back in there. All right, and then, actually I think we're gonna put him down. See, I have to talk to myself when I'm doing this kind of liked having Alyssa in the car with me the last time I did one because she oh, don't like him she was chatting with me a little bit of course she was telling me when she thought I was being boring too so that was lovely of her <laughs> she's like that was just boring mom we didn't I didn't need to know all that I know how to stamp I'm like I know you know how to stamp but you know people want to see how we're doing it that's what's wrong we just gotta add one more oh look at how cute all right, I'm gonna move all this guys out of the way. All these guys out of the way. My little tray. And I'm gonna grab my card base. So I have some Cajun craze. It was eight and a half by 11. I just folded it in half. And then I have a piece of, what you call it? What's it called? Um, whisk, not whisper white, very vanilla. Let me grab, I have a little strip of paper that I forgot to do. So I think I'm just gonna snip it. I'm just gonna freehand this because I changed the paper. All right, let me see if I can get it semi-straight. You'll get the idea if I don't. 
Essentially, I would use that, but we're gonna use this guy because he's longer. I like him better. I think that one will work. So we're gonna grab some glue. Glue, glue, glue. I saw like three of them in here. There it is. And just attach this guy. I know he's long, so I'm gonna trim him. And this is just one of the other patterns that's in that pack of paper. So it already coordinates. It's in that beautiful, pretty peacock. So it works really well. Get rid of that. And this is gonna go on the inside because we are doing, um, with my classes, we're doing the year of no naked innards. So I used to not do anything on the inside, which I know makes some people gasp. But for years, my people, my customers would tell me, well, I only use my cards for um, examples, so I don't want you to waste all your stuff. Well, we're, I've got them using their cards for more than examples. Now they're mailing them, because that's what we want. And so I have a piece of um, Pretty Peacock, and I'm going to stick it right here in my triple banner punch. Get rid of that. Look at, I have dimensionals stuck everywhere. And then this is a piece of our copper foil again. And it's, um, I ran it through the big shot with the new, oh, it's hammered something, um, but it's an embossing folder. Isn't that cool? So I'm gonna stick, these guys are gonna go on here and I kind of like it long, so we're gonna leave it. <clears throat> we're going to grab, I like to use um, either some tear tape or if you still have some fast fuse hanging around, something a little bit stronger. I live in Florida, so it's very humid here. And so these embossed pieces tend to not stay if you don't use some really good glue. And so I like to pull out my fast fuse though. I'm quite sad because, so I was sad about a month ago because I thought I had used my last one. And then I found two more and now I think I'm officially on my last one. So I'm just gonna add this right here. I'm gonna grab my ink pad. We're gonna use that Cajun craze again and stamp down in the corner. We have a cute little give thanks, possibly if I find where I put him. Let's see, there he is. Oops. So I'll make sure I'm not doing him. Oh, I did. I was gonna, I almost stamped it upside down. That would have been horrible because I am clean out of Cajun craze. So I wasn't gonna have anything else to stick it on. There we go. Look at how cute that is. And now we're gonna add some dimensionals. Okay, and I'm kind of liking it with this paper. I wasn't sure. I do stick a lot of dimensionals when I do these circles because I hate when they flop around. I don't want it to sit all unbalanced. But see how I'm just pulling those guys right off? I did a card swap one time and I had to do, I ended up using like 300 dimensionals and I had like a, um, paper cut underneath my fingernail because I didn't think to use my um, paper piercer or my take your pick tool. It's a little, a little bit wonky. Let's fix him. There we go. How cute is that? Super cute. I love the fall colors. The other thing I did on my other one, I'm going to show you. So the other one I used the, um, I used the, can you see that? I used that plaid paper and this time I used the the polka dotted and I think I do like the polka dots better. I ended up adding a couple sequins because I um, I put a fingerprint over there. So I'm gonna add these and I wanna show you a little trick that you can also do. So we're gonna stick these on there. I think these are, I don't even know what color they are. They're kind of like, I don't know, maybe they're like a sand color. I'm not quite sure. So we're gonna go like that. But do you see? how they look a little bit different color, those sequins. And they're the same exact sequins, but all I did is um, I took one of my Stampin' Blends in Pretty Peacock and I colored it. So I just think, oops, look at it. Look what I just did. We're gonna move him. That's why you should color them before you stick them on so that you don't make a big mistake like I just did. But I covered it up, I moved my sequins. But I kinda like making it match Finish that up. All right. So there we go. There is our cards. Too cute. I'm gonna bring you guys back up. So hang on a second. Hey, Chrissy. Hammered metal. I knew it was hammered something. Thank you. I knew it was something like that. Snowfall accents, puff paint, and the snowman season. I love those too, Sue. Those are like my favorite. So yes, I'm loving those too. Does anybody else have a favorite in the new holiday catalog? Because there's so much good stuff. Like really, really good stuff in there. I was looking for my little cap for my, um, 
oh my paper piercer so I don't stab myself by accident um but anyway so that's my card that is um I will post a completed picture later and I will post the dimensions probably tomorrow over on my blog if you haven't been over there I would love for you guys to pop over to my blog it's stampwithlisamarie.com um, and essentially it's just, I have all the links and things that you need for getting to like catalogs and stuff there. Um, I post more samples over there. If I do something like a cards in the car, I will put the dimensions over there. Oh, I love Mary Moose too. Um, I will put the dimensionals over there, uh, or dimensionals, the dimensions over there for you, um, for the cards in the car stuff that I do. Um, what was, I was gonna tell you something. Oh, and I'm doing, I'm in a blog hop with Kylie Bertucci. She's an Australian demonstrator. Um, there's over 30 demonstrators and they're all in her training group and we all are doing a blog hop and so a blog hop in case you don't know is everyone that has a blog does a blog post specifically um, with the title Kylie's Kylie's um, training demonstrator or something like that um, August and when you go over to my blog and you look at my post I think it was from me uh, it was probably from Tuesday so yeah yesterday maybe Monday but anyway you'll see the post it's the little mini curvy keepsake boxes that are gonna be in the holiday catalog and when you scroll down there's a list of 30 33 I think other demonstrators around the world and you just click on the on the hyperlink and it takes you to their blog and you can see what they made and so it's really cool because you get to see lots of examples of things you know I can't show you everything there's just not enough time and I can't afford to buy it all so this way you get to see different ideas different different um, takes on different products you know they may show you something completely you know different than what I did with harvest hellos and then so you get more ideas and I like her I like the cardinal too Christy but I need to get the dies I didn't get the dies yet um, they gave us the stamp set on the trip but I need to get the dies but anyway so hop over to the blog and then what's even better and what really really helps me is if you will go to the bottom of the, that post and make a comment on my blog post that would be amazing because you know Google and all these I'm gonna say the word wrong al algorithms are really really important for businesses like mine um, because you got to keep us moving and all your comments and stuff help with that same on Facebook sharing and loving and commenting all those things are a huge huge help because that means more people get to see us um, so if you could do that that would be awesome stamp with Lisa Marie.com if you don't have a demonstrator or if you saw anything today that I use that you want you can uh, reach out to me and I can help you um, this harvest hellos won't be available till September 4th unless you join my team then you can and put it on your demonstrator kit order. Um, but anyway, let me know if you need anything and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.